State Paul Page is joining us now in the studio. Tomorrow is the big election day, as, as you just heard. As you well know, early voting is ending today. Uh, what should people be prepared to do tomorrow if they haven't voted in a while sure. or any changes that have happened just since have the last basic, time they voted? Just have a basic plan. You know, mm -hmm. I'd tell them to go uh, onto the website, voterready iowa.gov to make sure they're still registered because sometimes they've moved or things have happened. I tell them to make sure they have their ID with them, uh, verify their polling site, all that can be found on their website that would make it smooth and easy for them. And of course, check out the issues that are on the ballot for them uh, because of bond issues and local school board candidates and city elections, there could be some choices they need to, to decide on. Do a little bit of homework Certainly. so that you're a little bit yeah. uh, ready when you show up at the polling station. A a as you well know, over the last few years, there have been changes and voting using the ID is one thing. Mm -hmm. The other thing is uh, putting voters on the inactive status. We were sure. talking about this a little earlier, is that uh, tens of thousands of people are now inactive if they haven't voted in a while. Right. What does that mean? If, if, if you didn't vote, can you still vote? Sure. First, it's not a real new thing. We just have tightened it up. Uh, what it means is if you don't vote in the last, last two general elections, which is gubernatorial and presidential, then uh, you would be removed as a voter eventually. Uh, but inactive just means we're monitoring. We send out mailings to you to make sure, are you still there? Have you moved? Uh, those are kind of actions we take. And you still can vote. You just show up and you'll be like anybody else. Uh, and again, we have same day voter registration. So by chance, if you did lapse and not vote for two general elections, you could register on site with the proper ID. And so once again, if you, because turnout isn't all that big on municipal right. and school elections uh, as in tomorrow's, but everybody is going to want to vote in 2024. Yeah. Yeah. How does that impact you if you did not vote in this election? It, you still should be able to vote. Shouldn't change a thing. And as, again, always check Look at your website uh, and make sure your name is on there. And uh, that way you don't have to sweat that one when you're going out to vote. Let's talk about early voting and absentee yeah. voting. It's such a huge number of early votes during the pandemic. Right. Um, and I'm sure that's waned a little bit. What, what have you seen in this election? Well, city school elections are always lighter than the generals or the governors and the presidents. Part of that's nonpartisan. You don't have the political machines pushing out the vote. Uh, what drives it is local interest. Example, Cedar Rapids, two years ago, you had a mayoral race, a very heated one. Mm -hmm. And that really drove up the Lynn County numbers. We're seeing this cycle, the numbers are down a little in Lynn County. But you go over to Polk County, and their numbers are up because they have a mayor who, who's retired in Des Moines. They have big school board elections there as well. So it is about what's going on local that will drive that turnout for folks. People are always worried about election security. You have been, mm -hmm. uh, especially since 2000, right. total revamping over the last 25 years as far as elections are right. concerned. Are you more confident today than you were yesterday? Well, most certainly. Every day we, we do more and we learn more uh, between, as I said, voter ID and between the upgrades we've taken in technology to make sure there's no internet connections and no cyber attacks. These are all important. But the best thing I can tell you is we have 10,000 of your friends and neighbors who are the poll workers who are on site watching every step of the process and there to protect you as well. And I think that's kind of the good seal of housekeeping, if you will. And challenges are happening more and more to election Certainly. results. Um, are, 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 is that good for democracy? Are you worried about the fact that fewer people have confidence in elections? Well, the more we give transparency, the less likely to have those kind of challenges. Now, we work very hard in Iowa. We're ranked in the top three in the country administering elections. But it's because we try to be as transparent as possible. And those poll workers help that happen. And uh, we just continue to have to make sure we're upfront about everything. And so folks can see what's going on. Paul Pate, Secretary of State yeah. for the State of Iowa. Thanks so much. And once polls do close tomorrow, you will get up to the minute results on all the contested races in eastern Iowa from KCRG TV9. You'll see them scrolling on the bottom of your TV screen, or you can search results on KCRG.com and in the KCRG News app.